We right now have a Medicaid program in the schools where families who have Medicaid coverage and some certain types of private insurance uh, that clinicians from outside agencies can actually provide the exact same service that they could be getting in an outpatient setting here in the school building. So um, we partner with New Horizons, Mid-Ohio Psychological Services, and the Village Network. We also have caseworkers from Integrated Services that come into the schools and provide all these services for the families, which is really nice because it takes out that obstacle of having to drive a child to an appointment, the child's missing more school. Um, so it really helps take out some of those barriers for treatment. And uh, it's been a really wonderful program. I get referrals for um, students with Medicaid and do one-on-one uh, -on -one individual counseling with them. So I have about 25 to 30 kids I see, um, or I'll do small group counseling with them. So just a lot of just individual mental health counseling. The reason we have professional counselors is like we've talked about a lot is that if those basic social emotional needs aren't met for kids, they can't learn in the school setting. Kids come to me with all kinds of stuff. Um, I get a lot of kids with ADHD, uh, kids that have just difficulties adjusting to various stressors in their life at home or in their family. Kids go through hard times, families go through hard times, and they might need some professional intervention to help them through that. School-based counseling is really different from traditional counseling in that you're not laying on a couch talking about really deep issues. You're really focusing on how a child can be successful at school. So it might be a kiddo who struggles with some anxiety or um, ADHD or maybe some mild depression. And so what these clinicians in the school setting do are really gonna focus on how you can manage those symptoms in the school setting and how you can be successful here. So whether that's doing homework checks, backpack checks, helping them organize their materials because they have a little trouble with organizing and planning helping to create a visual schedule for that kiddo. Um, those are the ways they can really support kids in the school setting. There's always been a stigma with mental health um, and it's not some, been something that people will freely address or freely talk about. It's been something that's been kind of hidden and I'm thankful for that kind of shift in our society's acceptance of being able to get help and um, in both adults and seeing with the little ones that they're going through a lot or you know they have things that they're predisposed to having um, biologically, but that we're able to kind of give them that support here too. It's just, it's definitely more accepted now. We're not born knowing how to do long division or multiplication. We're not born knowing how to read at a fourth grade reading level. Same thing with social emotional skills. Um, you know, not all of us come equipped and not all of us pick it up as quickly as others. And so school's not just about reading, writing, and arithmetic anymore. Uh, we're starting to realize and put a more, more of a focus on that, that we want to intervene earlier. We know that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of intervention. And so we want to get with these kids when they're younger, just like we do with early literacy skills and working on math skills. If a child doesn't have that skill, it's not a deficit in the child, it's a skill that we can help teach here at school. So that's a lot of what school counseling focuses on is developing those skills, same way we would with academic skills. One important thing to remember with counseling is that if there's something that a kid has been struggling with or for, with for their entire life, I'm not going to be able to fix that in a few months. Um, so it takes a while and sometimes I don't always have that big success. Um, but just a good day to have a kid come in and, and we always like I said we look at the feeling chart first and for them to point out proud and tell me because they made a good choice at school or they were on purple or they did good that's awesome because that's the goal like day to day to have a good day um, to be able to handle stuff on the playground well I mean these little successes I want to make big for them because when they feel what it's like to have a success and get praised for something happen more often, which is so cool. I love it.